Hey folks, thanks for checking the video out. I want to take a look at normalizing game within Logic Pro. And there's a few reasons why you might do this, but first of all, what is it? So normalizing gain is when you can essentially set a track or a region and say, do this to the volume. So you can say, set the peak to minus one or set the RMS the, the or the LUFS to you know minus 14. You can set an overall peak or loudness level for that audio file. And this is good for a number of reasons that we're going to see in a moment. Um, that's what it is. I'm going to show you how to do it and kind of why it might be appropriate to do it in specific ways in certain scenarios. Let's check it out. Okay, so we've got a multi-track drum session here. You'll see that I've got like two tracks of kick, two tracks of snare. So they're essentially the same thing. I've got an overhead that is quieter than the other one. So the ride side is quieter than the hat side. I think maybe they were a bit hot on the hats. And the floor and rack are very quiet. Okay, so all we want to do is first of all see how we do it on a small scale and then how we can do it on a large scale to everything in a session. If we want to do it on a small scale, we can just double click on a region, go to functions, and then normalize region gain. So that also comes up as control option or alt uh, G. So if we go on that, then we can affect just this one region by going to individual region. Or if we've got the track selected, then it can go to individual tracks and it will do everything on the track. Or we can go for collective selection. Now we're gonna to come to that in a moment. So individual region peak of minus one. So this is going to shoot the gain of these little spikes up to a peak of minus one. There we go. See what that did? Undo it. Bring it back in. And we can see that it's actually brought it up by 11 and a half dB. Now, this is really useful because we can just apply kind of a blanket rule to a load of files and say, right, everything that I've selected, I want you to bring the peak up to minus three, for example. Let's see how we do that. So let's select all of these tracks, press that key command again, Control alt g and each individual region we're going to set to a target level. Let's go minus three. Let's be a little more conservative. So each of these individual regions is going to analyze them individually. That's important. Analyze them individually and set them to a peak of minus three. Let's go apply. Cool. So it's got everything nice and loud. So the peaks on this overhead hats are the same as the peaks on this overhead ride not the overall loudness because it's not done on an rms kind of way like a luft value but we can do that so we can say we want the overall loudness to be the same individual regions we've gone loud loudness algorithm minus 23 let's go a little hotter than that let's go minus 14 and apply and it's thought about it and now all of the loudness of these is the same. So loudness different than peak. We're not setting a specific loudness value. We're just setting like an overall loudness. Um, or excuse me, we're not setting a peak value. We're just setting an overall loudness for everything. Less useful in this kind of context, but you can do it. Now, the interesting thing comes when you have, let's say, hmm, okay, so let's look at the dialogue again just quickly if I've got something selected. So individual regions, we've done. Loudness, we've done. Mm, it's not really that useful in this context. So that's minus three. So individual tracks. Now, this one is an interesting one when you have more than one region on a track. So if I just split these up for a moment, and importantly, let's split up this quiet section. So we can see here that this section is much quieter. Okay. So first of all, let's just select that track. And we're just going to be kind of looking at this region here, this region, and this region. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so let's set it to a peak of, yeah, minus three. Don't know why I typed minus 14 there, idiot. And let's go for individual track. Okay, so it's going to analyze the entire track and bring the loudness of the peak up to minus three. Let's go apply. Okay, you can see that this one hasn't really changed. The overall loudness has changed. The overall peak, excuse me, has changed. You can see that. The overall peak is changing, but this one hasn't really changed that much. What about if I go to individual regions now? Now it's going to analyze each one individually, and instead of turning the peak of the whole track up, it's going to turn the peaks of each individual region up. So now, minus three, algorithm peak, individual regions. This one is going to go up loads you see so in that context 
it's actually looking at the individual regions and saying each individual region, let's set the peak value of all of those, which is different to track. Track just does it on an entire basis of absolutely everything. So collective selection is an interesting one. It's essentially going to look at everything that you've got selected within your, you know, with the, everything you've selected um, and take the maximum one of those and put that up to the level that you've selected. That sounded a bit weird. So let's just grab these two, for example, overhead hats um, and go to collective selection, set the peak to minus three. And if we do individual regions, it's gonna be different because collective selection is probably looking at this one, overhead hats, and let's apply minus three peak. Okay, so we can see that this one has been boosted by 19.1. And this one has also been boosted by 19.1 because it's only using one of them as a reference. If we select both of them and go to individual regions, minus three, then we get a little star because each of them has been boosted. That one's 19.1. That was a reference before. And this one's been boosted by more. Whenever you get a little star over there or on any of these, really, it means that the regions that you've got selected have been boosted by a different amount. Um, so you can't just change them both at the same time. So for that reason, individual uh, regions is different to collective selection. Individual regions is going to analyze each of them individually. Collective selection is going to look at all of them and then just take the loudest one and raise everything based on that. So if the loudest one needs to be raised by 6 dB to get to the target level, the peak level, then everything else is going to be raised by 6 dB. On individual regions, if the loudest one needs boosting by 6 dB, it will boost that by 6. If the quietest one needs boosting by 19, it's going to boost that. Different ways of achieving kind of the same thing, but using different things as a reference. Hopefully that's clear. So I hope that's worked out for you. I hope that this gives you everything you need to know about normalizing regions. It's useful not only for audio-wise, like actually getting stuff up to a level, but for me, it's good for if I've got a session of drums, for example, or a full multi-track, I don't want to take a look at, you know, these tiny little toms here. I'm not interested in that because I can't really see where the hits are. I want everything to be up there, you know. So I want to be able to just grab everything, go to this, go to individual tracks, set it to minus three, and just go bosh, and then have everything kind of just come up. I like to have everything so these regions are all going to be different because I've just split them, but if I just grab do that, then if I just go to peak of individual regions, I just want to be able to set that to a peak of minus three and go whoosh, and now everything's loads louder. And more accurately for me, everything's just visually better for me to take a look at, and it means I can see exactly where all the toms are, I can see where exactly where everything is. It means that also I've not got loads of my faders right down here, and loads of my faders right up there. I don't like that. I like to have everything kind of at a similar level. Also for plugins, there's you know there's a nominal level that plugins are going to work at. Um, plugin developers will have to tell me how true that is. Um, but it just means that everything is kind of getting to the same level, so everything's just just playing a little better together. Um, and it means that you know you're not having to gain stuff up and other plugins like trigger plugins or anything dynamics wise you're not having to turn stuff up into them or turn stuff down into them everything's just kind of working at a similar level so i hope it's useful for you let me know if there's anything else you want to see small logic pro tips that just help you get to the next level i'll see what i can do and make a video to just guide you through it i'll see you again soon take care